Okay, Sagittarius, this is your timeless reading. So obviously this is for Sagittarius sun signs. It's also though for Sagittarius ascendant or rising sign, or if you have a Sagittarius moon, this should apply to you too. So feel free to get in on this reading. It is a timeless reading. We're giving you messages of light and advice to integrate into your soul so you can move forward and and grab at that freedom and the life that you've always wanted. So we're starting with two foundational cards right now. I am working with the Starseed Oracle deck, which is one of my favorite Oracle decks right now. So they will, um, they will create the foundation for your reading and then we'll get you more messages. So let's start with the first card, the Blue Flame, Spontaneous Awakening Activation Integration Time. Integration Time, sounded weird, okay. A breath of the cosmos. There you go. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. Okay, so there's two different understandings and energy. So there's definitely a new beginning for you. There's definitely been some activation with other signs too. And I feel like there's been an activation for you where things have just become clearer. There's been a shift in perspective where you're able to look back and sort of integrate your past in a brand new way. Um, there's also a way of sort of gathering secrets. Um, you know, you sort of gather information and you use information at certain times of your life. But there's there's been a gathering of all these secrets and information very recently where all of it makes sense. It really does. But it also means that um, what it is that you want is is you've definitely moved in the direction of what you want, but you're actually admitting to yourself, uh, Sagittarius, that there's other things or bringing in other elements to your life to, to move things on globally. You've been working very much in a community kind of setting, which is really important to you, and that will always remain important to you. Um, and I don't want to suggest by any stretch of the imagination, Sagittarius, that you kept yourself small. There's something very expansive about your personality. There's very something very expansive about your mindset, and particularly if you're creative or whatever it is that you do in your work, it's about moving ideas forward. Um, but what you've done and what you've been activated to, there's been um, this understanding of taking what you do, gathering all the information that you have and scattering it throughout the world at a level that you haven't done before. Um, so this is something that you've just come into. Now, it's not that you've not realized. I feel as though, you know, you, you've worked with your ego in a very specific way. And I feel like Sagittarius can really do this too. Um, You've really worked with your ego as if it's a friend. You've really, you've been able to sort of, excuse me, work within the, the mind frame of, I know what my ego is, I understand it, and you really do. And I feel as though you've sort of worked with your ego in a very spiritual sense from the very beginning. Now, this has made you, you know, very popular. And and again, you know, the, the expansiveness of you, it's, you know, when people have a conversation with you, they feel great. Um, they get a new perspective and all of this is wonderful. And you bring that energy into your work. But I feel as though what you've done by working with your ego in this way is that you've, you've, you've not had the expansiveness in your own life or in your own process of thought um, that you could have had and now you've been activated and you can do that um, sometimes we just we just see things as they are ego is ego you work with it you don't work with it um, you allow yourself to fuck up with it you know whatever I feel as though excuse my French um, I feel as though with you you've worked with it in, in such a sort of like auditory um, spiritual way um, that you've you've um, You've not really had, um, how do we say this? You've, you've, yeah, you've worked with it without integrating it fully because um, you, you've treated it in such a spiritual form. Now that's totally fine. And I, I wanna be clear, it's not like you've not been knocked down. It's not like you've not had the wind knocked out of you. It's not like you've not done the right thing. And then you've, you know, and then you, you've just been crapped on really at the end of the day. It's not like you've not had your ups and downs. But, you know, for, for most people, people deal with the ego and their life terms um, allows them to go right into that darkness and kind of learn and and figure things out in the way that you haven't. You you dealt with your ego in an ethereal sense. Um, and while that's beautiful, 
and made you the person that you are, you're now ready to sort of hit that ego like really pretty much head on. And this is not going to be a lot of work for you. This is this is a small this is a small shift. It's a small perspective change. Um, and the way in which you've dealt with your ego before gives you the balance and gives you the foundation in order to move forward and do this quickly. Um, but there's what you've never really done is getting to the core of what you really want um, and getting outside of that on a global level, you really do want to reach and and teach and be a leader. And this is something that you can do. Um, the more I attune my energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. And I heal the habit of fear and embrace the habit of love. Yes, so we're just going to do a little real talk. The way in which you've worked with your ego before has been so ethereal that you've never really quite understood it. You've understood it from a very specific perspective. Um, so it's not like you've been ruled by fear at all. You've actually, you've dealt with fear again with the ethereal, with the ethereal knowledge. And again, this is kind of a beautiful way of doing it. But, you know, you are energy in a human form. Now you're being asked to sort of hit it head on and, and really see the ego for what it is. And now there's beauty in embracing the ego for what it is without actually having to deal with it, with the ethereal aspect of it, because the ego actually teaches us what it is we truly want and what it is we truly don't. Now you've gone through life, you've gotten what you've wanted. Sometimes you didn't know, but you got it. Um, I feel as though there were a lot of tries to get what you wanted, but you did actually get it. And the the hand that you've been dealt with, you've worked with so well. And that, that you know, those hands, whatever you've been given, those hands that you've been dealt with have brought you much joy, even if they were surprises and you didn't realize where they were coming from and how the hell am I going to do this? You've stepped up and you've done it really well. And you've been very grateful and been elevated by everything that's happened in your life. You're a very grateful person. But I feel as though, there is an abstract sense of the ego where you've not actually used it. You see, the ego can be can be um, worked with in a way that it actually teaches us who we are and teaches us what we want and what we don't want. Now, you have the chance to really get in there nitty gritty, Sagittarius, and ask yourself some really hard questions. What is it that I fear? What is it that I truly want? And I think you're going to find for a lot of you, if this is resonating already, that what you want and what you still want to achieve are two different things. You know, there's a global aspect to what you do. You have a leadership within you. Um, the way in which you do work in the universe and, and your own unique perspective of how you actually see things is really quite unique. And it's even unique, I think, for, for most Sagittarius or, you know, most other star signs or, you know, even each and every Sagittarius, even though many of you are listening to this, you still have a unique way. Not one of you does it the same way. But this ethereal sense that you have worked with your ego is something rather common um, within all of you. And again, this is a beautiful way of, of working with the ego. And normally what people do is they work with the ego head on and then they work with it in an ethereal sense. You did it the other way around. Now, you have a lot to learn by by working with the darkness head on. And I feel as though... Um, that sense of control that you have that I some of you talk yourself out of it. I'm not really controlling. I'm being open. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm seeing what comes to me. Um, ironically, that's a sense of control because it's the control of not having to choose. And I feel as though that there still is a little bit of lingering fear. And some of that fear is not being able to achieve what it is that you're supposed to do, but also being very grateful for how far you've come and who you have in your life and what you've achieved. So we're, we're just speaking to your life path, your divine reason for being here. And again, want to make clear that everything that you've done has set you up for this time. You've actually done the hardest work first. And now all you have to do is go back and do the easy stuff and shift the perspective and move on. Most people do it the other way around. In fact, pretty much everyone does. But you've done the hardest stuff first, but you were well able for it. Um, it's just a way of utilizing your um, significant but very original knowledge in the way that will propel you forward in the way that you want to be seen now. Um, so for those of you Sagittarius who have a burning desire, um, this is the time to activate that desire and, and meet it head on by working with your ego um, and working with it. 
like in the human form, no, no longer with the ethereal sense. That's already been done. And then you'll be able to integrate all the egos trying to teach you in a way that you've never really been able to do before. Okay, Ten of Staves, it is reversed, but that's fine. Um, because, yeah, that's it's a, this is a sense of working with your power in a brand new way. Um, and it's a sense of also of I want that and moving forward in, in a very sort of specific way um, that some of you have not really done before. Um, it requires a new perspective, a new sense of effort. Yes, it requires you choosing one thing. Um, a lot of you keep uh, avenues open, which I personally think is a great way to be. But you're, in a, in a sense, being asked to shift into a completely different way of doing things. Now, you could just try it on. You've been activated. You're, um, you're not asking, nobody's asking you not to be spontaneous anymore. But they're asking you to... Um, not divide your attention, to be really clear about what it is that you want. And again, meet everything head on and be really clear and honest. Some of you are running a little bit, Sagittarius, and that is fine. You're not running from anything bad, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but there is a sense of power to stand up and into that is a brand new way of expressing yourself. And more importantly, it will integrate into everything that you do um, and in everything that you are, and it will reach a greater audience if you can stand um, in your own power in a slightly different way. Again, meeting everything head on. Now, we're not suggesting at all that you, um, you know, that you just focus and you over focus on one thing. It is about, in the ethereal sense, still working with the universe, obviously still working with your intuition, but it really is about working into the human sense of doing the nitty gritty work of that ego work and going in and doing it. Visit, integrate, get out and release. That's all they're asking you to do. And that is when you bring in the riches of whatever it is that's coming to you to create the life that you want on the next level. You're being asked to step up into the next level. You're well able to do this, Sagittarius, absolutely well able to do it. It's just a matter of whether you're willing to shift um, the way in which you've done things in the past and to step into a new sense of power by meeting your ego and your fear head on and really admitting some truths to yourself here that you may have not have wanted to admit before. And I promise you, the minute you admit them, they'll, you'll be like, huh, who cares? And you'll move on. Um, but they're in there and they're ready to be integrated. Um, and also this, this essence of not choosing some time is a form of control. So watch that too. Um, watch it in the sense that you have full control by being... Um, being the person that you absolutely want, not always the person that people want you to be. So that's your reading, Sagittarius. If it resonated, do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, it's a pleasure reading for you. And until we meet again, Sagittarius, you take care. Bye-bye.